Hey guys and welcome to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Now today I want to be taking a look back at some of Animal Crossing's most unique map features. In some of the previous Animal Crossing games, such as Animal Crossing for the GameCube and Animal Crossing City Folk, there were some really unique features that you could get on certain types of maps when starting up your games, and a lot of these haven't returned. And since New Horizons is almost on the horizon, no pun intended, um, it would be exciting to see some of these really cool, strange and unique features return. So if you're excited to check this out, be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate that. And let's get right into it. The first one is Cool Waterfalls from the GameCube version. Now the GameCube version of Animal Crossing had some really, really cool map features and most of them are going to be appearing in this video. I couldn't find too many for Wild World or City Folk or New Leaf. I tried my best. But sadly, GameCube tends to have the best maps. This is an example of a really cool waterfall that is facing to the side. You really can't get this in any other Animal Crossing game. It's such a unique sort of view that you can stand on the cliff and watch the water flowing down like this. Um, it's, it's simple things like this that I really enjoy in my town, just having a nice view to look at. Um, this is surely a brilliant one. Secondly, unique beaches, also from the GameCube version. Now. The beach is such an important part of New Horizons, as we all know, and I think it'd be great to see some cool little unique beach parts. Now this screenshot is from my GameCube town, and it shows one of the most unique types of maps you can get. It's a very rare type of map to get, because you get a cool little um, mouth of the land that sort of goes into the ocean, but you also get a cool little beach right next to it. And yeah, you don't really see many types of maps like this, so I think it'd be cool to see some really unique types of beaches in the uh, New Horizons version. And of course, if we get the lighthouse back, which I'm sure it will return, I mean, what would the town be without a cool lighthouse, come on. Um, it'd be great to see it like on a little sort of like cove like this, you know, sort of separated from the main town. Now, this is the only one from City Folk that I could find, but I still found it really cool. In City Folk, there are 14 types of slopes slash ramps. That is a lot of variation, and I think New Horizons could really benefit from this type of um, variation. New Leaf only had a few. I'm trying to think how many it had. Maybe four or five. It wasn't really many. There was one sort of really cool one that went straight down, and the cliff was right next to it, but... Um, yeah, New Leaf didn't have too much in terms of variation. I'm not saying the maps were bad, but the maps were definitely a lot more interesting in previous games, especially the GameCube version, as I said. Here is one from New Leaf, though, and I'm talking about the secret beach. Now, if you look in the top right corner, there's a tiny little beach that you can only get to if you swim there. Since this was a new mechanic in New Leaf, I assume they did this intentionally so that people would sort of want to discover what's over there. What's over there is nothing, <laughs> but you can plant some trees there or maybe, I don't know, dig up a hidden item or something, I don't know, whatever you want to do there. Uh, and in New Horizons, since you can actually put items on the beach, I think it'd be really, really cool to have this sort of secret little beach area. I'm not so sure about this one just because of the way New Horizons maps seem to be laid out. It seems like the beach goes all around the town and the river's sort of somewhere in the center, so the river doesn't really go into the ocean like this. But it might do. Um, you know, we've only seen one type of map, the one I showed off in the thumbnail, so it'd be great to see more variation. I'm hoping the developer team for New Horizons will show us some different types of maps soon, because they seem to be using the same one for both their trailers and we want to see variation. This is a really cool one. The free layered towns from the GameCube version. Some people think this is actually going to return in New Horizons, and they believe, looking at the map, there's already evidence of it. I don't see that myself personally, but if you guys see that, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I do think it'd be really cool to see the free layered towns, uh, free layered towns return. And the only problem with these is that you don't really get too much space. There's not sort of any like acres that are just like for houses or whatever. Every acre has either a cliff in it, or a beach in it, or a building in it, so, you know, you don't get too much space. But at the same time, it's just such a unique and cool thing that I'd love to see this return. It was not in City Folk, uh, it's only been in the GameCube version, and obviously New Leaf and Wild World didn't really have much in the way of cliffs. And here's my absolute favourite um, 
Ex excuse me for the uh, typo in the bottom. I record these videos live. I could edit it, but I'm really happy with this take, so I hope you guys will forgive me for this one. Not very professional, I know, but these videos are more on the chill side. So anyways, we're going to talk about the fact that this little island has two bridges separating it, and you can get a different type of style as well. I would love to see this return. This is my number one thing that I want them to do again. The fact that you get a little island in the middle and you can put two bridges to sort of cross over, it's so cute, it's so great. Um, it's a shame that you can't really do much with it, especially in the older games, but in New Horizons you could do a ton with a little secret island like that. I mean, I was so happy when I was resetting for my GameCube town and I got this. It's a really rare type of map and it's so cool, it, it's just so great. Like, we, we sometimes don't really appreciate stuff like this because we have so much these days. But back in the day when you only had something like this, if you got a map layout like this, you'd be over the moon because it's just so cool and I really hope it will return. So if you guys enjoyed those unique layouts, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you guys can think of any other cool features that you want to see return in terms of maps, also comment down below. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and I will catch you guys soon for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos. Thank you for all your lovely comments and support. You guys are wonderful and again, see you in the next video.